welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill. I'm Sean. And today um, we're going to discuss the recall that we received on two of our Broncos, but we only addressed it on one because the other one's still torn apart. Pieces. Yeah. <laughs> so, one of the things I wanted to say is most people aren't going to really worry about this because they don't have children or they might not have children in the back. And it does pertain to the child safety locks, which are on the back door. If you guys know what that is, obviously those who don't, you probably don't have children. You never had children. You never knew they were safety locks. So it does keep you from opening the door from the inside. For all those people who like to torment your uh, friends. friends in the back seat, usually turn it on before they get in, then close them, then watch and laugh and, and have them beg for you to get out um so yeah so when it's properly functioning like you said when you close the door the inside occupants aren't supposed to be able to open it <laughs> yeah now on the bronco it is weird i'll talk about the broncos that we have that actually had it uh, had them addressed um, on the Bronco, it's in the latch. So as you close the door, you see like a little triangle latch that's cut out. That the way to change it is almost like a screwed, a little uh, flathead piece that you can stick a screwdriver in and twist one way. It locks it, twist the other way, and it makes it so you can you can uh, unlock it from the inside or open it from the inside. Um, the the issue was you could actually open it from the inside, which is obviously really bad if you have children. Uh, yeah, who... when it's just supposed to be locked and you have kids or your friend, you know, figured it out, they will open the door and it's not supposed to open. Remember, it's not supposed to open, but on the recall, if it fails, you can open the door and that's not good. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's kind of a bad thing, especially when you have little ones that like to pull on the handles or doors or whatever. Uh, it's really good to get it done. Even if you don't have children, get it done anyways, because someone later on who might buy your vehicle, if you do plan on selling it, you... Uh, one less worry off your yeah, plate. One less thing that they don't have to worry about later on. Uh, it would make it good that all the recalls are done. Now, going with our Broncos. So we have three Broncos, two of which had the recall. Which is weird because the one that didn't was only three days away from build than her Bronco. My bad so lens, yeah. This one right now, which is Diesel's Bronco. The big bend. This was the first one we had, I believe in May, June, or sorry, June, July, August last year. It's been so long, I don't know. It was August last year. August last year. So we've had this for about a year. Uh, it was built right before then, so probably July that had the recall and then her vehicle her black diamond has a recall no, or bad sorry lens. badlands has a recall for the same thing for the child safety locks but our black diamond is in the clear because i ran the van with service and they're like we don't see any recalls for it i'm like what do you mean you don't see a recall for it they were built three days apart <laughs> friday monday okay whatever uh, that's they were good. in a rush to get my car out on a Friday, and then they came back after a long weekend and said, "Okay, we need to get our crap together." <laughs> uh, I'm just—I thought it was funny that not all three of them went out. So, give them a call, see if there's any recalls for the child safety locks. That way, you know, if you do have children, make sure to get that done. Uh, if you do have adults you want to torment make sure you get that done you can smile and youtube it later as they try to get out of the vehicle i don't even know how do you open the windows from the back is there window switches in the back no everything's up here i think i don't think there's oh, no, oh there is right. window switches oh well hey <laughs> we learn something new every day i have no idea i don't sit in the back seat no, so we never and usually sit in the, back the seat of our cars. usually the doors are or the seats, seats are, are folded down. down so um, another way that you can check for a recall actually there's two other ways you can go to the nhtsa.gov or org i can't remember which one it is but anyway you can go to that website type in your van see if there's a recall or if you have the ford pass app you can add your vehicle to the garage thing and it'll tell you right away if you have a recall you can click on that and it'll tell you what the recall is and you can schedule your service appointment from that app so um ford pass is 
very good yeah, for it, a lot of things. I'm not trying to sell Ford no, Pass or trying to throw it out there. It's, we're, just, it's it's not that you sell it anyways. It's something you get anyways. It's free but anyhow. It's a free use app. it. She can access the vehicles, uh, all three, actually all four Broncos, and mm -hmm. see the gas that's in it, the mileage. She can see it all can sorts see of stuff. She can see everything just from her phone, wherever she's at. And I can remote start three of them from my phone. She can unlock them too. Yeah, so. and I can unlock all four of them. But yeah, if you, and this is not a sponsor video for Ford Pass. I'm just saying because I use it so much, it is a very quick easy way you got to have a good wi-fi though to look at your vans see if your vehicle has a recall and you can schedule it from the app right there and it'll, you can pick a dealership wherever you want to go so just keep that in mind and it's a free app check out your uh, wherever you buy your apps on we're, your phone we're not trying to push anything we just she uses it all the time i don't have it on my phone usually everything's on hers I say, hey, how much gas is in the car? And she looks it up within probably two seconds and tells me. That's so, because I, I'm the one that always maintained the vehicle, you know, because where I worked. So, yeah, so that's why I have it. But do yourself a favor, look into it, try it out. It, it really has helped us, uh, especially with recalls and, and updates and stuff like that. It really does keep track of all your vehicles, uh, Ford-wise. If you have a Bronco, it it's a lifesaver. Yeah, to... and even um, our 2012 F350, the Beast that you guys see every so often, um, it actually has a couple recalls on that as well for a 2012. So yeah, if there's anything on any of the vehicles that you have that is a Ford product, it's gonna tell you. Yeah. So just. It's a really helpful app, so I just recommend it. I'm just throwing it out there. But, you know, do yourself a favor. Check out the recall for this one. Contact your service department. See if they have a recall for your vehicle for the child safety locks. Especially if you have children that are... We grabby like yeah grabby uh i'll just say if you have an if you have a teenager no but if you have a small child that wants to grab on everything uh definitely get that taken care of because the last thing you want to do is have them go out the door when it opens or fall or drop something out or have the door open in a curve and damage either your bronco or god forbid something happens to them uh we don't yeah. we're we're pretty serious with safety uh when it comes to this especially when it comes to young children because those children are the next car kids or car people like we are that are going to grow up loving cars we don't want them to be scared of them you know i grew up loving cars she grew up loving cars and you know that's definitely a good thing we want to keep that trend going with younger kids okay so Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and um, we'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to check our website. We do have merchandise now. Okay. Listen to her. Okay. Bye. Bye.